Maxi Bloom. Everyone's cheap and effective hydroponic fertilizer. But it comes with a dark secret. It's a real pain in the butt to mix. Most people will throw some in a jar, heat it up, get frustrated that so much of it has not dissolved, leave it alone for a little while, come back, shake it some more, and it still hasn't dissolved. Now we've gone through a lot of ideas to test this, involving scientific equipment and other things to dissolve it, but I realized, why don't we just try waiting? This is a pretty straightforward test. The first one is a gallon jar filled with hot water from the tap. We're going to put a teaspoon of Maxi Bloom in there. The next two are quart jars filled with 24 ounces of hot water. In the first one, I'm going to put a teaspoon of Maxi Bloom. And the next one, I'm going to put in a half teaspoon of Maxi Bloom. And we'll give them all a good shake. Maybe another one. And see where we are. Already, just this simple test has shown us that if you wait just a little while, most of this stuff starts to dissolve on its own. As you can tell from our time lapse, pretty much everything is dissolved in the full size container in about two days. The one with a half a teaspoon and 24 ounces of water apparently got a much better shake and was dissolved within a day. And even after four days, the one teaspoon into 24 ounces isn't quite ready. So what does this mean? It means that as long as you get it started pretty well at first, it will just dissolve on its own. And this is fantastic for things like cracky methods where you don't necessarily want full strength right from the beginning. You can just put your powder in there, don't mix it, and within about five, six days, it should be dissolved. But there is one problem. It's extremely acidic. So my recommendation is pH your water ahead of time to about 9, 9.5, put it in there, and let it dissolve over a couple of days. Now, if instead of the e easiest way, you want the fastest way, the magnetic stir plate is absolutely the best way to go. Take your water and heat it up to between 70 and 80 degrees C, put in up to one teaspoon per 400 milliliters of water, and stir it for about one minute. So in summary, as long as you're on a regular schedule and you don't need to do any sort of emergency feeding, you can just mix everything up a couple days ahead of time. You don't have to worry about stirring it or getting it all dissolved. It'll take care of itself in due time. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. This has been Dan from Curious Cultivations, and I'm wishing you some happy grows in the future. See you next time.